Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape. And JT from Me Bike Escape. And in this video, we're gonna check out some tire chains for your electric bike. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video where I'll share some of the other gear you might want to pair with these tire chains. So let's get into it. All right, so JT has actually been spending a little bit more time with these tire chains yeah. from Slipknot. And we're here in Wisconsin. Winter is hopefully ending soon, but we have some ice here. So we're gonna be checking out the capability of these tire chains, which I'm really excited for. JT's already given them a test. Quite a bit of testing, yeah. Today's gonna be optimal conditions too. So what I found with riding these around, we have a little bit of land here in Wisconsin. So we've been riding around on some of our gravel roads and stuff like that around the Christmas tree plantation we have here. Um, and they work really well when the, when the ground has been plowed and it just has that nice coating of like thicker ice or thicker base on it. It's way better than a rubber tire, really grabs into it. Um, when it's nice, fresh, fallen snow and really soft, they still skate around quite a bit and the chains don't offer much. They're really the same as they are on a car. When you put chains on a car, they're really meant for icy conditions, not meant for fresh, loose snow. They're meant for hard pack. And the way they attack is actually really, really simple. All they have is these little turnbuckles and one side spins on the chain and they just thread on and off very nicely and then there's one of these on each side so you pull the chain around the tire get it in here and then you just kind of adjust it in and i would say as far as fat tires go just generally they do perform pretty well in winter especially if you lower the pressure so what's nice about these chains depending on the condition you basically can put them on take them off that's of course what's really unique about these chains yeah. compared to studded tires and now as far as price goes, they vary from- About $95 to about $120, $115, I believe, depending on the size and the amount of material that's needed for these. The only downfall that we know is that, uh, do we just check their website to verify price? And um, they are actually out of stock until October of 2022. And these are made in Colorado. Yep. And also when you compare them to studded tires that are already studded, I think that's a pretty reasonable price as far as studded tires you're going to pay about the same as you would for these chains now you will note of course we have this on a fat tire electric bike that's going to offer you the most performance when you're doing some winter riding and this is the Unirol fat all-wheel drive electric bike they do have two fat tire electric bikes with all-wheel drive this is the more affordable one i did a full review on it if you want to check it out but this thing is almost unstoppable in winter conditions like this. I'll just show you the dual motor. <laughs> so yeah, this is a fun bike without a doubt. We decided to put the chains on this. So with that, I think the last thing to do is take them for a spin and show you what they're capable of. Let's go try not to fall. Uh, oh my, it is very slippery here. All right, so we got ice, JT yeah. coming downhill. So this, I mean, I feel like this is a good test. Like I'm on the brakes going down on ice and it's grabbing without a problem. Just no problem. Yeah, no. It goes right up the hill, no problem. You can look at the ground too and you can literally see where the chains have dug in and grabbed to get this way out. I mean, you see here, makes it slushy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> Almost got him on camera going down. <laughs> oh man, they didn't grab there. No, that's the super icy part. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. Even from like a start.
Yeah, definitely better at lower speeds, but uh, they do a good job. I mean, pretty confident. Of course, you're not gonna be going down hills the entire time. So yeah, I think these are really great. I mean, in combination with the dual motors, it's just awesome. If you want to do some commuting around your city or just have some fun, you know, studded tires are almost a necessity, especially where we are here in Wisconsin. So yeah, I think they're a good product. I like that they're easy to install. One of the pains with rear hub motors on electric bikes, if you do need to change the tire, it's a little bit more of a process. It's nice that you can just leave the tires on, throw the chains on for the winter season, take them off and only have one set of tires. So I really like that about it. All right, now for some items that you might wanna consider for winter riding and some that I've been using. You may have seen this helmet featured in a few videos. This is the one that I use when I do winter reviews. This is the Bell Scout Air helmet and it has an optional face shield that you can purchase for I think an additional 20 bucks. And while a helmet like this is really nice, it's more of a motorcycle helmet, you can use a snowboard helmet, you can pair it with goggles, but I find this is pretty much the only thing that can keep my head warm when riding in very cold conditions. So that's the Bell Scout Air. Tons of different options, obviously, you don't have to buy this particular one, but we will put a link to the tire chains as well as all these products in the description below. Let's move on to some new gloves that I got. These are actually from a company called Kemi Moto and they have batteries in them and they are heated. They're a little bit on the pricey side. There's three modes of heat. You simply just push this button. But what I will say about these gloves, they're really nice for me in particular. I'm messing with my GoPro when I'm filming and it's just nice to have a slightly warmer glove when I take my hands out and put them back in. I wouldn't say that they'll keep your hands really hot in extreme conditions, but they certainly do help a little bit. So check out these Kemi Moto heated gloves. I'll be testing these out more next season as well. Recently got them from the company, used them on uh, about a half dozen rides. So the next item that I highly recommend if you plan to do winter riding are handlebar mitts. Now these are the ones from Rock Brothers, but there's actually a brand called Handlebar Mitts. They're very similar across brands. They're made out of a neoprene material. And what they do is they simply attach to your handlebars with the zipper and then there, there is Velcro as well. And just blocking out some of the wind makes a huge difference when you're riding in winter. The only thing that you need to be aware of, especially with electric bikes, is you do have controls on this side. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. What we usually do when we ride with handlebar mitts is we'll put a thin pair of gloves on so we can still shift and use the controls and then put them in the handlebar mitts. And I do have the ones from Rad Power Bikes here as well. As I said, very similar uh, material, so you can check out these as well. These work by attaching to the end of the handlebars. And because these do attach to the end of the handlebars, they won't slip around. They kind of lock into place more. So kind of like that about the ones from Rad Power Bikes directly. And lastly, the last piece of gear that I want to talk about is actually this jacket. I've been getting a lot of comments about this recently. First of all, I love it because it's high visibility. When I'm riding, I just want to be seen as much as possible. So this is actually some gear from Showers Pass that they sent me. Now, this is a lighter jacket, but it is their most burly jacket for the elements. But what I really like about it is it completely blocks the wind. So what I'll do is I'll layer up a lot for the weather underneath and then kind of throw this on the outside as a shell. And so this jacket is very high quality. I also have their refuge pants and their waterproof socks, which I actually really recommend as well. So you can check out some of these Showers Pass products as well. Really appreciate them hooking me up for this uh, winter season. I've been really appreciating having some nicer gear. So I hope this video helps those out who live in a climate like we do here in Wisconsin. We'll definitely be using these chains for seasons to come. Really appreciate Slipknot sending us these so we could check them out. Again, links in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tony. <laughs>